already okay. talked about that, and I know you're up for it. Sounds you good. Focus on your genre if you yeah. want, or you can just get everybody. You know. Anyway, Amy Rhymer, right. this is going to be a three-hour Thank show. Thank so The level of the compliments, right? Which I'm okay with, but you know, <laughs> let's uh, add each other and chat each other up in private, right? That's the best thing to do. So, Amy Rhymer, everybody. Right? Coming up next. Thank is you. Thank Thomas, you. Thomas, could you introduce yourself? Uh, who who's the Robert Rook band, and what is? Why did you write the song "San Bonita"? Uh, Robert Rook uh, and I uh, played together for almost thirty years. We are uh, jazz musician. He's a mathematician also, but, uh, but I've been professional jazz musician around Amsterdam, and we played acoustic jazz for in small bars, clubs. Uh, we made a couple of albums over the years, and. Um, it's just a fantastic piano player. We, we played jazz standards. I composed a lot of songs to it. And uh, we sort of came to a dead end with acoustic jazz, at least for as far as, not so much that we don't like it anymore, but as far as connecting with the, the, the sound that we just heard from Amir's music. And if you improvise and play, so we wanted to see if we could get closer to that, to, 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 to grab people that are interested in, in improvising and playing and, and still sort of have the today's sounds like cutting through it. And so we, we made this album now, it's coming out in November with uh, where we use a pre-programmed uh, groove, grooves on the, on the groove box, which we also use live. And we sort of just play along with it and we do a bit of post-production, cut out a couple of things. Basically, it's about making it shorter. And uh, this video we're going to see is uh, from the recording session in the studio. We had the camera up. We had to manipulate the, the pictures bit because it's, we didn't have a video editor at the moment and everything. So, but we had the camera running. And uh, San Bonita is one of those grooves where we just improvise. And this amazing uh, both saxophone player, uh, Efrem Trujillo and uh, Robert uh, Rook, as we say in uh, Holland, Rook, oh. the English expression, is uh, is uh, my buddy. Yeah. So I, I, I did, uh, I was responsible for the uh, production also of this. Yeah. Fantastic track. Honestly, ladies and gentlemen, enjoy the San Benita by the Robert Rook Band. Hope I'm saying it right there. Yeah. Uh, enjoy, ladies and gentlemen. One love. <laughs>
so good. Yeah. 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 Awesome. That was so good. Wonderful. Fantastic, fantastic. So our next guest is Heston Cleveland. So we'll ask you to compliment next, Heston. So let's go Tim Voke and then Aaron. Tim Conzi. That song was just awesome. And I believe <laughs> that. I believe jazz yeah. is either something you're born with or, or not, or at least you have to work really hard at it. And obviously yeah. you are definitely born with that. Um, that is so, so good. I mean, I just don't know where to even start with it. I, I know jazz does not come natural for me. My brother and I collab on songs every once in a while, and he sent me a jazz number. And I'm like, what the heck kind of time signature is this? <laughs> Many options. And he's like nine eight. This, this one you can figure out, I guess. <laughs> he's like nine eight. I'm there like, are, no are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yes, that was that was just awesome. I loved it from beginning to end. Uh, thank you. It's all about the playing with these guys, you know. So uh, it's it's nice uh, to to get some, in, especially in a group like this, to get some feedback from. Uh, well, like I, well, I have to say something about your music, and then you get it back, you know. Yeah. Well, Tim's on later in the evening, so Thomas, I'd like to see what else. You're, obviously, like you, like you're uh, involved in many different bands. So again, <laughs> the invitation goes out to yourself to become an MVP. I've just uh, Jackson's a, a member of the family, and so is Heston. So as you can, that's MVPs are the people who are part of the family, and they're going to come back multiple times, you know. So, um, but I, I'm, I'm not. Try to rush anybody, but see if we can be slightly quicker with our compliments and stuff. It's just in case any of you guys get uh, upset I'm, with the time. Are, are you in a hurry, Kristen? I might have to, too. I was no. just looking at the time. I want to be able to stay for the whole time, but I just wanted to let you know. So just well, whatever works, whatever's clever for you. I, I can put you on in two songs time. Is that okay? I, I feel That's I'm, perfect. I'm, You'll get a worry with the time, we'll do that then. I'll remember that. So let's continue with the compliments then. Voki and Aaron. Voki. Wow. I'm a huge fan of live music. And just like Tim said, I've, you're either born with it for, for jazz or not, or you have to really work hard to get it. And I know that I'm not born for jazz, but I love it when I hear it. So listening to that was really, really incredible. As in, and to think that it was all improvised the synergy mm -hmm. between the members of the team was really really good and you could actually tell even the dog was enjoying it i noticed that and that was some beautiful beautifully done music well done thank you well said okay aaron and amir aaron. well as soon as it came on that's my shit <laughs> so I was like, "Wow, great, great, great!" I was just trying to figure out who you were in the in the animation, <laughs> but you you playing bass, I believe. I, right? I'm playing, yeah, I, I'm playing bass. Robert Roke is the piano player. Very Ephraim. good, very very good, high level players. Yeah, uh, that's like I said, that's the stuff I love to play. That kind of stuff. I'm like a, a born and bred. My father used to hang out with Miles and Coltrane and Charlie Parker and all of that. And in New York, and I happen to study music, and you know, and uh, right on, man. That, that was imp great improvisation, great feel. Just thank you. Nothing but good things to say. We, we got to make some music together. That's all I can say. <laughs> <laughs> great. Thank I enjoyed you. it immensely, man. Uh, well done. You. Well said, well said. Amir then Jackson. Amir? Yeah, I, I have a question. Um, have you ever heard of the group Snarky Puppy? It really reminded yeah. me of Snarky Puppy. Like, like I, I, because I, they improvise a lot of their works and they're amazing. And they're like, you know, I, I was just like, I had, a, I had a vibe with Snarky Puppy just, just like, when you know, and that whole, it just took me on a trip, man. And I was just like, this guy's a genius, man. I'm serious. <laughs> <laughs> this whole band is a genius, man. They're geniuses, you know. Yeah, I don't, being able I don't. To improvise like that and being in the same. Home. Uh, yeah, they're great. Yeah, well, you're great, you. man. Jackson, then Kristen Jackson. So that honestly took me back to like my my biggest favorite era in time is the Prohibition era. And that's kind of what I got from that. It was just very groovy, very original. 
very uh good good music good vibes amazing stuff you got going on there i really enjoyed it i think just about anybody can vibe to something like that yeah that's that's what we hope for too yeah well said well said Kristen and then steve Kristen. I love that it was improvised too. Great job. It's like, you know, like the R&B and the hip hop, it's improvised, but it's like, it's all the same energy. Do you know what I mean? Even if it's avant-garde jazz or, or hip hop. So um, fantastic players and just great delivery. Yeah. Well said, Dito, that. Steve and then Chris. Well, okay, as has already been said, you've either got it in you to do jazz or you haven't, and you definitely have. That was jazz with a capital J. Wonderful work. And the other thing I wanted to say was that I personally liked that nobody else has actually commented on yet, was I liked the, uh, the filter, whatever you did with the kind of cartoony effect when you were all playing. And I really liked that, the kind of animation. So I really enjoyed, you know, seeing it as well as hearing you. Great work. Thank you. Well said. Yeah. Yeah. Chris, our next guest, Heston. Chris? Heston. Yeah, I, oh, well, thank you for having me and hi to everybody. Uh, you improvised. So do you mean you guys just sat down and started playing? Man, I would love to come sit down and listen to you guys at a jam session. That was amazing. Really amazing. Thank you. Well, yeah. well said, well said. Chris from Atoms to Ashley, what's your final compliment? And then we're going to Mr. Cleveland next. Chris? I stayed a little longer than I should have, but I have to say it was absolutely worth it. I mean, <laughs> I, I don't know if you saw at one point, but I closed my eyes so I could deep dive even deeper into the music, into the feel. Um, the performances were all amazing. And I loved also, too, that everyone got to perform. And there was even moments where it felt like you were trying to one-up on each other. It's like, hey, look at me do this. No, oh yeah, yeah well, yeah. I could do that. And yeah. it was throwing back and forth. And it's a little it moment just, of that. Yeah. Oh, the essence of jazz was right there. I can listen to this stuff in my house all day and have no problem. So definitely excellent, excellent performance. Everything was so great. And uh, I'm going to sign off though, guys. It was amazing to be with you. And again, I'm so glad that I was able to hear that and all of the other people. It was amazing, but yeah. Yes, uh, Chris, so thank, cool. Chris, thanks so for cool. coming, dude. And until the next time, it was time, a brother, pleasure. Bye, Chris from Atoms to Ashes. And Thomas, Later, guys. Thomas, as everyone else said, you're, you're, you're magnificent. So thanks, everyone. The, Thomas Winter Anderson representing the Robert Rook Band. Everybody, let's go ahead and get Thank you. That one love. So coming up next, we've got Thomas, uh, we've got, sorry, we've not, we've got Heston Cleveland. Could you introduce yourself, Heston? 